hope you're having a fabulous Saturday because I know I am. The sun is shining and I can't wait to get out there because I'm going to finish planting the rest of my lemon balm sedums. That's going to go with my flocks that I showed you in a previous video. So today I figured I would finish up my gardening signs and I would let you guys see exactly what I was doing. So let me show you. I'm working on the sign that says zucchini and squash. Woo! So I've already put my paintings of my pictures that I have on my sign and the only thing I have to do now is just um, take some paint and go over the the word so this is what this sign is going to say it says zucchini and squash and I did a beautiful butterfly and magnolia flower with a bee on it and then at the top I put a yellow daffodil so some of this stuff still has to dry got to be careful with my butterfly this is the cutest butterfly. And then I have the magnolia flower with the bee on it. So it is going, he is going in there trying to get his, his pollination of the flower. So I'm going to show you guys how I go about finishing up this one sign. And then I will show you all my other signs that I have completed. So let me bring you on down so you can see exactly what Miss Renee is doing. Alright, here we go. So I have decided to put the wording of zucchini in this color right here. This is called the yellow, like a burnt yellow. So I've decided I'm going to go ahead and finish with that. So I have already squeezed it into my little paint palette tray here so all I do is first I write it out the word in my black sharpie and then I just go over the lettering until I can't see any more of the black and this is the hardest part for me because you know I could never even when I was in school I could never ever do a straight line so that's why I love doing it with the sharpie first and then you can kind of like just you know trace over it see and then I just keep on going to the whole word is covered I usually do like maybe two to three coats over the words so then um, it will ensure that I can't see any more of that black sharpie and that's what I do for the whole entire thing what I did on the butterfly and the flowers was a stencil and then um, I just lightly went over it with some of the the paint colors like the the blue butterfly I used this paint color and then for the yellow inside of the magnolia flower, I used the same color here, which is this. But I didn't go so dark with it. So, are you guys excited? You want to see the rest of my garden signs that I have completed? I am so excited to show you guys. So let me get them. And then I will surprise you with each and every one of them. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Sorry about my hand. Are you ready? Okay, the first one is, because you know I want a whole section that's just dedicated to my tomatoes. So this one is going to be called Tomato Alley. So I have some leaves with a dragonfly right there. And then I just have a cute little peach little flower here I'll let you get up close so you can see it see my dragonfly see my little flowers same thing I did I just took a color and I just painted it over the words so I couldn't see the black anymore and then I just put some flowers at the bottom get up close so you guys can see and that's the tomato alley sign the next one I did because you guys know I'm doing a whole bunch of cabbage because you know I got my B team out there trying to survive in the elements to see if they can survive and then I will roll out my A team and this one says cabbage patch Woo 
And this one just has some leaves. And then it has a little flower. It has a little ladybug. And then I have my little butterfly. And then it's got some little purple violas. Little flowers. So, cabbage patch. That's that one. So I have tomato alley. I have cabbage patch. Now, you know, this is the year I'm trying to do onions. I want to try to grow some of them Walla Walla onions, those big giant onions. So, of course, I had to have a catchy little saying for it. So, what I said was, Bloomin' Onion. So, this is my Bloomin' Onion sign. Has some leaves, have another butterfly. You guys can see up close. And then, a little leaf at the bottom. And these are just stencils that I got from Michaels. And then I just picked out some paint colors. Easy peasy. And then, and you guys already saw this one. My Bell Pepper Alley. Or I should say I'm a Bell Pepper Lane. And that's just with my leaves all over it. And I use that puff paint. Try to draw me some, um, uh, a green or red bell pepper. And then some leaves at the bottom. So, I just have one more sign to do after this one, and it's going to be an arrow pointing the way to a special little spot in my garden that I'm trying to get together. So, when I get all of that prepared, I will come back and show you guys that little surprise in Renee's garden, but I thought I would just come to you today. And just let you see what I'm doing today. Because I know you guys have said you wanted to see, you know, what my garden signs are going to be like. So, I'm done. So, I can check that off the list as soon as I get this one. I've got to be careful. This one's still wet. And as soon as I get this one done and I get my little arrow painted, then I will be done. And then I can just concentrate on um, getting all my other plantings and stuff done out in my garden, which I'm so excited about because you guys know that I have been patiently, patiently, patiently waiting to get out there and get all my plants in the ground and get my stuff growing because I have seen all the wonderful planting that you guys have been doing. And I was like, oh, I want my time. My time is coming. But I'm so happy for each and every one of you because you guys are growing some amazing vegetables out there. And they are just looking so delicious. And um, like back to the roots, I'm coming with my um, basket. I told you earlier today, I'm coming with my basket. I'm going to do some um, harvesting in them collard greens. And you can their karabis look amazing. Because you know me. I'm struggling over here with them karabis. But, you know, I got my fingers crossed. I got them in my winter sewing containers out there. And I hope I can at least get one karabi. Just one, one little karabi. And I'll be so, so happy. Alright, you guys. I just wanted to come to you. Share my garden signs with you. See what you guys been up to. And let you know. I'm doing okay over here. I am so excited about just being able to be in my yard now because the weather is starting to break a little bit. I think we are going to have a couple of more cold evenings, but the mornings are going to be beautiful. All right, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys have a blessed day. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you've watched me this far, Go ahead and hit that red button. You know you want to. Go ahead and hit it. Hit it two times. Just make sure that you hit it. And don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Because that will let you know when Miss Renee has another video coming your way. Alright guys. Love you all. Oh and I wanted to say because I don't want to forget about them. All my new subscribers, I am so, so happy to have you. Welcome to Renee's Garden, and I hope you have just as much fun in my garden as I'm trying to bring to you. And all my Ride and Die subscribers, you know I love you. You guys have been hanging tough with me, and I'm very appreciative of that. All right, guys, have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, you guys. Don't forget, get outside, have some fun. Just get out there, even if you don't have nothing to do. Just go enjoy the sunshine. All right, and let me know what you guys are up to, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.